In fact, we go, it is Sunday, what is today? August 22nd, time flies. <clears throat> the market will be open tomorrow, Monday, going over some stocks, um, all different stocks, you know, higher price, lower price. Just taking a look and see where they're going, where they've been, you know, where they're headed. Try to get a feel for maybe a swing trade, you know, even day trades. Let's look at Ride, Lordstown Motors Incorporated. <clears throat> you know, this was dead for 2020, you know, for a long time. Then it exploded up in August last year. Went from like 12 to like 30, 32 almost. Came back down all the way to 14. Then we bounced to 30. And we formed a low that was higher, 18, and back up to 30. <clears throat> so this is like a triple top, you could call this. And then with EV stocks, these are the same patterns. You've probably seen these charts. The same wedge, they came falling hard. Little bounces were fake outs. You know, here was a fake out, very small move. And right here was a bottom move that really exploded up. Eight, you know, got to, you know, almost 12. Then it came back. It probably shook out a lot of longs, then it came back up again. You know, got to near 14, I think it's a 1582 with this big red handle. And then what happened with this was, is short-lived, you're in another wedge. Then you're down again, and you can see we're at 528 now. So this move right here to 10, and, you know, it's a short-lived move. So when this move happened, you don't know it's going to form a wedge. You're not exactly sure. Is this going to go up and start to break up? Um, you know, if you're in at 10, it doesn't work. You're, you're still fine. If it starts moving down, you may maybe even make like a dollar move. So, so you know, that's where you got to get to the weekly charts. It's at 528 right now. It's trying to slide a little bit. Let's see here. The weekly, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight red candles in the weekly. You get a 303 stochastics which you're probably going to get a bounce here. I would say a bounce, you get up to six or eight, well, six to 10 range in this range. You get your EMA. See this how it was knocked down? You have 20 EMA over 13 EMA. It's extremely bearish right here. So these moves were fake outs. You get a weekly, that's why it didn't go up. You reverse. When the 13 is over to 20, that's why it's bullish. So, and this tells me too, what I don't like about this, you have SPACs going down, EV stocks. You have a lot of stocks going down. That's why the market, I think, is more trouble than you think. You know, it's forming at pretty much a top. And in the next six months, I think we get, you know, a really big move down, 10 to 20%. So will this bounce? It's over the monthly. You know, it's 666 here. And, you know, not looking good there. <clears throat> and you look at here from the high, this was at 3152. You're at a five. 23.6 fibs is at, you know, $11. So this could run up big here if we get a, you know, move up. But I'm looking for six to 10 if we get a break up. See that highs are getting lower, though? So that's why I put six to 10 range on ride. I mean, watch that. I think there's good potential for a bounce, though. So. All right, what else we got here? We have... Uh, just lost my... Uh, what else to have ride? What's my other stock? I completely just lost it. Let me see if it's downloaded. Oh yeah, NA NKLA. <clears throat> Nikola Corporation. Yeah, this stock was a fraud. There's news member, uh, the CEO got fired, I believe. So a lot of these stocks too, people don't understand the stock market. A lot of it is fraud and scamming. And you have these companies form, you know, do you know the real financials? No one really does. You don't know. It's not Apple or anything. It's pretty consistent. So you don't really know what's going on there. Um, these facts, it's all like pumps to make money. And, you know, this form back in May 2020, it was like 12, 10, you know, $10. Just had a great run up and it reached a high of 93.99. Then we bounced, you know, after a big drop, came back to 70, got lower. It's one that big falling wedge here. You're getting big bounces, but big drops. 20, you know, bounce to 30. 
and then bounced to 30 again on another drop. See right here, and you came to this wedge. Then you're at here. You came out of it 12, not a bad little move out, and you got to 18. That's a nice six dollar gain. It held this 20 EMA, you know, double top here. Then it faded again to another move down. You're in a big channel down. These moves are fake outs. And right now you're at 947 from a high of 93.99. Now you imagine you bought it in the 90s. Anytime you see these stocks with tops, someone bought it there. You got to be completely insane. And that's because they don't know what to do. Weekly chart. You can see here the run up on stochastics. Now you're in a complete reversal. See this uh, 20 EMA, or not 20 EMA, so red over white. White's uh, bullish when it crosses over. So you're completely negative here. Now it's at a 356. So now I'm expecting a bounce here soon. I'm not sure how, how high we'll get because we're getting lower and lower. See each time, look at these highs. I think we can make it to this one though. We can maybe make it to 15. I would say anywhere 10 to 15 range. The monthly, okay, completely flat here, 468. It's just continually going down. So it's starting to slide a little bit here. So you might get a bounce. So that will be my range here. Right now the stop on this is these lows. Um, you know, $9 I would look for as your stop. So, you know, a lot of these stocks are trending. They're bouncing, but look, you're going down. This was $90 stock. When's it going to stop and continue to go up? You know, that's why everything's hit its peak as far as these SPACs, EV stocks, um, or these other like merger stocks, acquisition stocks. They're like, almost like they're shell companies. Or, yeah, they kind of seem like fraudulent a little bit, but who knows? All right, that's it for these two stocks. Uh, please subscribe to Mike Kim Alerts on YouTube. Smash the like button. It helps the algos. Uh, what else we got here? Leave comments. Anything about stocks or anything else is all good. Instagram, Mike came in alerts, stock quits, Mike came in alerts, TikTok, Mike came in trades, and Twitter, Mike J Trades. That is it. Peace.